up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill, and yes, it's time for another pop off with Madison. For today's pop off, I'm gonna be talking about Emily Ratajkowski and Pete Davidson because you guys, Emily Ratajkowski may or may not have just confirmed that she is in fact dating Pete Davidson, and obviously we must discuss. So in case you guys missed it, earlier this week a major rumor started that Pete Davidson has officially moved on from Kim Kardashian with none other than Emily Ratajkowski. Since this rumor started, like I said, it looks like Emily is giving us a little confirmation to this fling. I also have more information as to what exactly is going on with Emily and Pete. And it also appears as though Kim Kardashian got a little shady whenever she found out that Pete Davidson moved on. And obviously we're gonna talk about that too. Basically you get it, it's just a lot of good celeb tea on this pop-off. But first, because this is the first pop-off of the week, you know I have to check in and see how the House of Hill is doing. So let me know how you are, what you've been up to, all of that good stuff down below. For me personally, for anyone who celebrates Thanksgiving. I don't know if you can relate, but I cannot freaking believe that we are literally a week away from Thanksgiving. It just does not even feel real. I cannot believe how fast the end of the year is happening. It's just absolutely crazy to me. I'm really struggling with it a little bit, but something exciting. Me, my mom, and my sister are going to have a little Hill Girls Day tomorrow at Disney. We're going to go check out all of the Christmas decorations. We're going to go in December too, but we're going to just do a little Girls Day tomorrow. And I was thinking it's been forever since I did an actual like full vlog. So if you guys want me to vlog our Hill Girls Day tomorrow at Disney, let me know and that way I can definitely start doing it tomorrow as soon as we wake up. So just let me know how you're feeling about that and then I'm going to go ahead and stop myself because I know you straight to the T people are like Madison. We love you. We love hearing about the potential Disney vlog, but we need to hear about this Pete and Emily situation and I don't blame you. So go ahead and put this time code down there in the comments to help out your fellow straight to the T people. And now let's get to unwrapping these Pete Davidson, Emily Ratajkowski, and Kim Kardashian facts. Okay, so as I briefly mentioned at the beginning of this video, these Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski rumors predominantly started on Monday when somebody sent in a blind item to the anonymous Instagram account Dumois. As you can see, this tipster sent Dumois a message in all caps saying, M. Rada, AKA Emily Ratajkowski, and Pete Davidson on a date together in Brooklyn, holding hands and all. And then this eyewitness followed it up with another message just spilling more tea saying, his hands were all over her and they're clearly, clearly hooking up. Now, despite the fact that Dumois makes it very clear that blind items are not confirmations. That didn't stop the internet from seeing this info about Pete and Emily and absolutely freaking losing it because A, not only does this make it seem like Pete Davidson moved on from Kim Kardashian and he moved on from Kim Kardashian first, but he also moved on from her with freaking Emily Ratajkowski. And you guys, the internet at least thinks that this news of Pete Davidson moving on from Kim with Emily Ratajkowski definitely stung her a little bit because when this rumor started going wild on the internet, that very same day Kim Kardashian took to TikTok. If you don't know, her and North have a joint TikTok account called Kim and North, and they posted a video of them singing Ariana Grande, Santa Tell Me. Now, the reason why people saw this as a little shade towards Pete Davidson is because obviously, as everybody knows, Pete Davidson once dated Ariana Grande, so the fact that Kim Kardashian was singing along to an Ariana Grande song, you already know where the internet was going with this, and tons of people took to the internet to say they thought that Kim Kardashian was shading Pete Davidson. Obviously, I have some thoughts about that, but moving on, let's get into what we know is actually going on between Emily and Pete. So a source did confirm to People Magazine that Pete and Emily, quote, are seeing each other. And then we have a separate new report from E! News where a separate source said, quote, Emily thinks Pete is a lot of fun to hang out with and she thinks Pete is charming and they have a flirtatious chemistry right now. So while it definitely sounds like there's a little something going on with Pete and Emily, this E! News source did go ahead and clarify that right now it is definitely not anything serious. As the source said, quote, she's not exclusively dating anyone and is having fun. Emily is in her single girl era and wants to see what's out there. So while that might be true, that's also not stopping Emily from kind of playing up these Pete Davidson rumors and also giving some subtle confirmation that it is true that they are seeing one another. And the way she did this was liking a tweet. Now again, the day that this rumor broke about Emily and Pete dating, Dion Warwick went ahead and tweeted out and said, I will be dating Pete next. And Emily just recently liked this tweet. So people are taking this as her subtle confirmation that there is something going on with Pete Davidson. I'm telling you, it really sent the girls into a tizzy and I obviously have so many thoughts about this, that alleged Kim Kardashian shade, just everything going on with Pete and Emily and I cannot wait to share my thoughts with you guys. So let's go ahead and make this pop up official and get to the shambong. We got a fresh bottle because we're at Mama and Papa Hill's house.
Okay, so here's the thing. When I first saw this rumor that Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski were dating, I was like, what the heck is going on? But then once I dug a little deeper, I was like, you know what? This kind of checks out. And the reason I say that is because number one, they're both single. Emily Ratajkowski is fresh off a divorce and Pete Davidson, as I've said multiple times during this pop-off, is recently broken up with Kim Kardashian. So they're both single, ready to mingle. Number two, we know that they both predominantly live in New York, so they have proximity working for this new fling. And we know that distance and busy schedules was something that really threw a rink into Kim and Pete's relationship. So the fact that Emily and Pete live in the same city most of the time, that's already a plus. Number three, we know that Emily has previously talked about how she totally gets the appeal of Pete Davidson and she totally understands how he gets all of these A-list attractive women. During an appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers last year, Emily said, quote, Pete, he's got the height. Guys are like, wow, what's the guy got? And I'm like, I mean, he seems super charming. He's vulnerable. He's lovely. His face your nail polish is awesome. He looks good. He's great. Good relationship with his mother. We love it. So clearly the attraction on Emily's end is there. And Pete, as we all know, loves an attractive A-list woman with some substance, which is totally Emily. She just released a book. She's booked. She's busy. She's also a mom, which I feel like Pete Davidson is attracted to women who already have children, case in point Kim Kardashian. So again, I can definitely see Pete Davidson being attracted to Emily Ratajkowski and that attraction being mutual. Now, although I mentioned this in my mini pop-off, I want to say it again here, I do find it kind of funny that Pete Davidson is slowly becoming the guy who women date after their divorce. And I mean, I get it. He's funny. He's different from a lot of men out there. He's a little quirky. He's got the tattoos. He's got that BDE that people keep talking about. Like, I really do feel like Pete Davidson is a good rebound guy. And also, can we take a moment to really recognize my evolution of Pete Davidson? Because I feel like when I first started talking about him, I did not see the appeal of him at all. But as I've talked about him more and learned more about him and also I guess have just been exposed to him more. I do understand why women love him. Again, he's still not my personal cup of tea, but I'm just saying I've really had an evolution when it comes to Pete Davidson. Okay, back to my thoughts about Pete Davidson being an ideal rebound guy for women who are recently divorced. Well, I'm sure that's awesome for Pete Davidson's ego to get these gorgeous women and of course it really makes for an interesting dating history. I feel like long term it does make me a little sad because I do think that Pete Davidson ultimately wants a committed, serious, long-term relationship. If you guys remember, right before he officially broke up with Kim Kardashian, he sat down with Kevin Hart, and he talked about how his ultimate dream in life is to have a child. And I just feel like right now, whenever he dates women fresh off a divorce, they're not really looking for a serious relationship. They're looking for someone who's fun, someone who's bringing the BDE, like someone to just spend some time with and who is probably the exact opposite of their previous husband. So while dating Pete post-divorce is great for these women, I do feel a little sad for Pete because I'm not sure if these are the type of women who are going to give him that long-term committed relationship that he's ultimately looking for. However, of course, the guy is still young and we all know the beauty of being a man is that you're not on any timeline to have a child. So I know he definitely has time to date around and have fun and date all of these gorgeous A-list women. I'm just saying long-term, I feel like Pete Davidson is going to need someone serious and I'm not sure that that person is Emily Ratajkowski at the moment. Again, I could totally be wrong. Who knows? A year from now, these you could be engaged and on their way to getting married. I could be wrong, but I'm just saying based on what that E! News source said, how Emily is in her single girl era, I highly doubt she's looking for a very serious relationship right now. However, having said that, I do think we're going to see more Pete and Emily, so go ahead and just prepare yourselves now. I think now that the word is out that these two are going on dates, they're both definitely going to play into it because it's a win-win situation. Not only do they get to have fun with one another in private and go on these dates and have this flirtatious chemistry, but also to the public, people cannot get enough of whoever Pete Davidson dates. So honestly, it's also going to benefit both of their careers because they're both going to be in the headlines over the fact that they're dating one another. So truly, it is a win-win and I think that they're both definitely going to play into that and Emily is kind of proving that just by liking that Dion Warwick tweet. So in my opinion, definitely get ready to see more of Pete and Emily publicly and it will be interesting to see how Kim Kardashian reacts to that. Now, speaking of what fans saw as subtle shade towards Pete Davidson, you guys, I don't necessarily think that Kim Kim intended to shade Pete Davidson and the only reason I'm saying that is because I think if Kim really wanted to shade Pete and really stick it to him she would have done so not in a subtle way at all and I also don't think she would have done any shady things towards Pete with her daughter North in the social media post like I definitely think she would keep shading her ex and her kids separate but again that's just my opinion I think it was just a hilarious coincidence that North wanted to film that TikTok to the Ariana Grande song on the day that the rumor came out about 
about Pete Davidson and Emily. And you know, I'm sure Kim was like, eh, if this scene has a petty move, I'm totally okay with it. But again, I don't think it was intentional shade. I think if Kim really wanted to intentionally shade Pete Davidson, she would have done a much better job. But again, these are just all my own thoughts and opinions. And now I wanna hear what you guys think about Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski and these dating rumors and that alleged shade that Kim Kardashian threw Pete Davidson's way. So let out all your thoughts and feels down below. While you guys are at it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you guys follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back to my channel to check out my YouTube shorts. If you guys wanna show me a little extra love or you just wanna make sure I see your comment, don't forget you can also hit that super thanks button down below. Also, you guys, don't forget you can check out all of my merch over at my merch store at houseofphil.com. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.